A group of community activists are speaking out over the arrest of a man known as a defender of SoCal street vendors. Eden Enamorado and seven others remain in jail, charged with multiple felonies relating to a protest that deputies say turned violent. Ellen Empire Bureau Chief Rob McMillan has new details plus reaction. Stop trying to shut us down! A protest outside the Victorville courthouse this morning. A group of community activists furious over the arrest of Eden Alex Enamorado and seven of his colleagues now charged with multiple felonies, although their supporters say all they were doing was protesting. This is a playbook straight out of a third world country. Attorney Christian Contreras represents an Amarado, who's a community activist known for his support of local street vendors. He's also been at a number of big protests recently, including one in front of the mayor of Fontana's home in the middle of the night as well as one in late September in Victorville over alleged excessive use of force by a San Bernardino County Sheriff's deputy. When they were protesting Mr. Enamorado and his cohort. Oh shit, these goddamn Mexicans is getting it on the fun, man. They see his sons can't have all the fun. Yeah, that's like oh, shit. Y'all do that shit, we get shit. They trying to get in on the action too now. Oh God, and there's so many of them, man. Please don't let them get started, man. Shit. <laughs> yeah. So. Fuck. Oh, God. Vehicle that ran into the protest. There was a there was a vehicle, a car that ran into pedestrians, and in response, of course, the protesters were around the vehicle saying, "What's going on? Hey, there's a protest going on. Can you move your vehicle?" But at a news conference last week, Sheriff Shannon Dykus said an Amarado and some of the other suspects then assaulted and pepper sprayed people inside the vehicle. This group manipulates videos and photos on social media in an attempt to make them look like they're protectors of underrepresented people. However, they use racism to threaten and intimidate their victims, causing them to get on their knees to beg for forgiveness while still assaulting them. A judge has yeah. ruled. <laughs> oh, shit. Come on, Brito, so I think they're like us, huh? Nah, but you peep the difference. He could never talk like this about a black group protesting. He could never just look at the way, look at the confidence this white man just walked in there and said what he said. If this was black people he was talking about, man, he would have been meek and stuttering and trying to find the right words and all that bullshit. He got up there in these own burritos and just fucking ran them the riot act. Press one. The news conference last week, Sheriff <laughs> Shannon Dykus said an Amarado and some of the other suspects then assaulted and pepper sprayed people inside the vehicle. This group manipulates videos and photos on social media in an attempt to make them look like they're protectors of underrepresented people. However, they use racism to threaten and intimidate their victims causing them to get on their knees to beg <laughs> yeah, for you're right you're right still assaulting them a judge has ruled the defendant yeah. to stay he wouldn't have said none of that shit to no fucking son terms he'd have fucking been <laughs> terrified to talk to us like that man. he'd have been using, he'd have been using his words right and shit he'd have been, he would have been slipping up <laughs> he's proud of shit he had, even if he wrote that down on the paper, he would have got up there and looked into the crowd and been like, oh, shit, I can't say this shit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and look how proud he was. You're right. Look how proud he was when he came out of that motherfucker. <laughs> you can't talk to black people like this, man. But at a news conference last week, Sheriff Shannon Dykus said an Amarado and some of the other suspects then assaulted and pepper sprayed people inside the vehicle. This group manipulates videos and photos on social media in an attempt to make them look like they're protectors of underrepresented people. However, they use racism to threaten and intimidate their victims, causing them to get on their knees to beg for forgiveness while still assaulting them. A judge has ruled that defendants will stay behind bars with no bail until their next hearing the day after Christmas. Not even people accused of murder have no bail holds. That means that they cannot even post bail. This is not okay. Jasmine Castro says she's the wife of Gullet Acevedo, one of the eight defendants in the case, whose supporters call the Justice Eight. He helps people with their sobriety. He's a sober person. He's very proud of who he is. And this is an injustice. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more. <sighs> Do you believe him? 
fuck no. I believe the cop, man. I believe the <laughs> fucking cop 100%, man. <laughs> yeah, man. This fucking goddamn... They just fucking like, yeah, a fucking HLM on Brito's Lives Matter and shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> 